Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this live worldwide Thursday edition, the 24th day of September. We have uh, our reporters joining us from the road as they cover the Pope's visit to the United States. David Knight and Jakari Jackson will be joining us with updates at the bottom of this hour in about 30 minutes. Leo Zagami will join us for the first time on my radio broadcast. He's been a guest on the Nightly News before. Uh, he is quite the Vatican researcher and he'll give us an Italian perspective from someone who's been a Catholic and also a high-level Mason uh, on what he calls the blackmail and coup that's happened inside the Vatican, which even the London Guardian reported on two years after Leo Zagami began to talk about it. So you can say what you want about Leo Zagami. He has a lot of supporters, a lot of detractors. Uh, I never had him on because I thought it was speculation and pretty far out, but most of what he said has now come frighteningly true so his credibility level goes up quite a bit in my eyes. He'll be joining us in the second hour today. And then uh, Dane Whittington of Geoengineering Watch, who made CBS News, the LA Times, and other publications, as a larger and larger percentage of Californians believe the drought is engineered. Well, we know there's geoengineering going on in California. That's admitted. It's going on all over the country, but really in California, one of the most intensive areas. And we've interviewed a lot of... Uh, Meteorologists and others that say they believe the weather patterns and what's happening to precipitation is unnatural. Uh, so they're trying to call it a conspiracy theory. It's not. We're going to talk about geoengineering uh, coming up in the third hour. In fact, I just said yesterday that I wanted this guest on. But I want to back this guest up. And I know that I, I was going to make a film on geoengineering. We never finished. And I know that we have huge files all over the office with the patents and the admissions and the meteorologists and the weather weapons experts all saying it's contrived and just huge amounts of evidence. Uh, the geoengineering uh, clips from the different government conferences, the Arab countries greening the desert with electromagnetic towers they've set up. If our great nightly news director, Rob Dew, could throw a bunch of that together for me in a few clips, I should have thought of this yesterday and given him more time. Uh, I want to present some of that in the third hour when this guest joins us. So I'm not just here saying that. I want to give you the actual patents, the actual international treaties on weather weapons. I want to actually give you the newscast where the weathermen and women say it's clearly manipulated. I want to just throw a small, maybe 1% of the evidence at you. And by the way, I'm not being sarcastic. The reason I never released... I was going to call Dark Skies or Skyfall, and that was a couple of years before the James Bond movie came out called Skyfall. We even announced the name was Skyfall. Is because there was too much evidence. It went deeper and deeper and was more insane and more documented and more crazy. And I kept just saying, get more, get more, get more, fly here, fly there. And I, uh, I, I should just put out films more quickly, and, 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 and they'll still be good. They'll still be informative. I literally used to just could churn films out because I just wanted to get the info out. I've gotten more neurotic over the years and just never put out Obama Deception 2, never put out Skyfall, never put out. I haven't made a film in five years. Now, we've made lots of mini documentaries and done thousands of videos and reached more people exponentially. Uh, it's just that. I was here brainstorming as I was thinking about what I wanted in the third hour and realized I probably got an hour and a half of a powerful film made right now on Rob Jacobson's computer 100 feet from me. And I ought to just start releasing this stuff on the nightly news. Then if I don't have fanfare about it, nobody cares. If I have fanfare about a film and it's released, then 50 million people watch it. You know, it's just it's all part of a formula. We'll be back. Well, the Pope has now addressed Congress, and I have a transcript of it we're going to be going over. He said that if there is a stranger amongst us, we must take care of them. Of course, Saudi Arabia won't take one single refugee, one single migrant. Neither will Qatar or any of these other rich Gulf states. 
And the West advertises, come to America, come to Europe, everything's going to be free. Come here. That's called stealing from the taxpayers. And it's part of global government. It's part of collapsing borders. It's part of planetary tyranny. And you're going to be hearing a lot about this little girl. She's going to end up being called the Pope girl, like the Obama girl. I'm scared they'll take my family, five-year-old daughter of illegal immigrants, is blessed by Pope Francis after breaking through security barricades hours before he says mass in Spanish. And if you watch the footage or look at the photos that we're going to be showing on screen, we'll go ahead and roll through those and show folks those, you can see in the first photo the police are leading her through the barricade to the Pope. Totally and completely, absolutely Vatican Ford Foundation staged. Just like if they want to demonize somebody, they say Saddam was stomping babies' brains out from incubators. None of it was true. When they turn ISIS loose in your city and they run around murdering and raping and killing, you'll never see it on the news. But when they want to tear jerk and sell open borders and to coincide with the optics, they stage these events and they use this sweet little girl who says, please don't take my mommy and daddy away because she was born here. They came here and had her. And so it's a giant anchor baby advertisement. And I have nothing against this little girl, clearly screened and, 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 and looked at probably for months ahead of time. Very nice, sweet, loving eyes of her parents, her dad, her mom. It's an anchor baby advertisement. Totally plotted, just like a Coca-Cola commercial or a Victoria's Secret commercial during the Super Bowl. It is 100% cold-blooded scripted. The Pope Mobile being a fiat, right as a huge fiat advertisement rolls out. Remember about six years ago at the Super Bowl, they had the green police ad where it showed police in white and green uniforms arresting people for their hot tub being too hot, their house being too cool, or the wrong light bulbs, or their car not having the proper emissions. And I said, that's paid for as product placement to condition you. Those are the real uniforms globally. They have global treaties that they end up wearing from Australia to San Francisco, California. And then sure enough, a year later, they bragged in the San Francisco Chronicle that yes, we were paid by the government and they paid for the advertisement to prepare the public. This is what we're really going to do. Now, I'm not bragging that I knew it was staged. A, a moron would know that. But the general public is in a trance. So they see this little girl brought to the Pope. Does he go to Mexico City and have a Guatemalan immigrant run up to him and say, please let me into Mexico? No. One year forced labor in Mexico if you're caught illegally coming into the country. Unless you get on a train, hang on to it illegally, and don't get off, then you're allowed to go to El Norte or the Great North. The North. This is a concerted globalist plan to turn America into a third world country, drive down wages. I did a Facebook mentions piece this morning. And some of the comments were, oh, you're against the migrants coming into Europe and the U.S. Well, I bet you weren't, you know, basically against the wars. No, I was totally against bombing Iraq and Syria and Libya and all the rest of it. I was against overthrowing Muammar Gaddafi, who was stabilizing Africa. I was against putting al-Qaeda in charge because I knew it would lead to the collapse of the Middle East and the flooding of the West and the clash of civilizations that Dick Cheney wrote about in the September 20th PNAC 2001 Rebuilding America's Defenses documents. Yes, I know full well, but see, I'm beyond one-dimensional thinking where I'm against the war, but then I'm for having open borders. The, the same globalists that orchestrated the war, the wars on record to destabilize and funded the Arab Spring to put radical Islamists in, are the very ones now saying, we'll pay for you to have your baby, we'll pay for welfare, we'll give you housing, come to Europe. Then we'll give you voter cards, then we'll give you a driver's license. And once they do that, though, they keep them in ghettos. The police in Germany are basically all German. They contain them and use them as a political weapon for low-cost labor, basically slave labor, but also as a political weapon for the socialists. 
show the globalists are screwing the Arabs over, the Muslims over, the Mexicans over, the Chinese over, the Americans. It doesn't matter. Whatever they're for, you've got to be against. And then you can politically, geopolitically, economically, culturally, spiritually lay out why it's a bad idea on every front to be part of that. The globalists are for gun control. I'm against it. I can also intellectually lay out to you why I'm against it. But just as a default, if they are for open borders, if they are for carbon taxes, if they're for forced inoculations, if they're for GMOs, I'm against it. If they're for invading Iraq, I'm against it. If the mainstream media was telling me to go out and eat pumpkin pie, believe me, there's something in the pumpkin pie. I ain't going to eat it. I love pumpkin pie, by the way. Halloween's coming up. It's Thanksgiving. I love pumpkin pie. There's nothing wrong with the pumpkin pie, folks. I'm just using it as an allegory, as an example. So coming up, uh, I've got his sickening uh, transcript here where he basically you know, says, be nice to your neighbor, be nice to the stranger among you, take them in. When it's being orchestrated and, 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 and when the very groups that the Pope represents have helped implode the Middle East, now we're supposed to follow the next phase. And then we've got Anchor Baby advertisements while he's guarded by the border patrol we've got the most lax immigration in the world the highest level of welfare for foreigners it's called stealing can i show up in mexico and go i'm a migrant i'd like uh, to have free health care can i show up in saudi arabia and say hi i'm here to get free health care i'm here with my wife we're here to have a baby she's having a baby tomorrow we're gonna get her checked to the hospital her water just broke they say, oh, we're going to take care of your wife, but if you don't have the money to pay, you're going to be put in a debtor's prison. Or we're going to chop your hand off, Mr. Jones. But see, that's okay because I'm white and I deserve it. But if I was Arab and I showed up in Saudi Arabia and wanted something free, I'd be put in a forced labor camp. And it's all these countries are like that. But then we've got 40 million illegals in this country. They now admit it's 40 million. And they're not even happy. They're filled full of liberation theology, hate America, America's bad. And they don't mean the globalist America that took over. They mean the mom and apple pie, Ford Mustang America's bad. And sure, it's not perfect, but compared to these other countries, it's heaven on earth. That's why everybody wanted to try to get here. So to sit here and to watch this pope just go through a unending laundry list... And, and, you know, I had the transcript in here, and then I was unable to find it right before I went on air. Were we able to get that transcript, guys? You, you, you gave me an article that had his quotes. Um, it's actually the Daily Mail. Uh, Pope talks gay rights and a whole bunch of other stuff, and then it has his, his pretty much transcript right there in it. It's uh, drudgereport.com's link to it. Uh, yeah, so, Nico's tracking it down right now. So is uh, Infowars.com. I'm going to actually just find it right now. Because I, want, I was ready to get to that. And uh, that's it. The transcript's also uh, at uh, thomas.loc.gov right now. But you look at this, it just signifies that the takeover is in absolute total high gear. The system is in absolute overdrive right now, and it is only going to get worse. And anyone who's moral, anyone who's upstanding, anyone who's taxpaying, anyone who's hardworking, you're going to be demonized and told over and over again, you've done nothing, you're lazy, you're stupid, you're bad, you're scum, you're trash. Because you've got to be bullied and intimidated into submitting to the establishment social engineering agenda. And that's all it comes down to. It's very, very simple. And that's why the harder working you are, the better you are, the more dedicated you are, the more you're going to be hammered, the more you're going to be targeted, the more you're going to be basically beat up. Because that's the